Hey everybody, it's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install a special plugin that will detect file changes within your plugins and themes. And the idea is that if those files are being changed and you're not actually updating them, but if those files are being changed, then somebody else is updating them, which could be a hacker. Or if you have auto update enabled, it could be that they're automatically updating, which is fine. But this plugin will allow you to keep track of, or notify you rather, of when those updates are made to files when there possibly shouldn't be any updates that are being made. So the plugin that I'm talking about is called WordFence, and I use it for various things. And there's actually, I have a couple other videos about WordFence as well, it's a great plugin. And to install it, all you have to do is hover over plugins on the left and click on Add New. In the search bar on the top right, type in WordFence. And this is the plugin right here with the shield. It's already installed on my, uh, my installation, so I'm not gonna install it here, but all you'd have to do is click on, it'd say on yours, it'd say install now, and then you just install it and activate it. There's a free version and a paid version of WordFence security. And the free version does a whole lot of stuff. So really there's no reason you even need, need the paid version because the free version does so much. And when you install it, you will have a menu item on the left at near the bottom called WordFence. Click on the main link to open it. And when you click on that main link, you will come to the WordFence scan section. I recommend after you install it, you run a scan right away just to see what it finds. Because it does scan for a lot of things. So this is actually a list right here of what it scans. So the first three are for paid members only. And they are a remote scan of public facing site. So it would, it would look at your site as it's rendered on the front end and scan through the HTML code to see if there's something malicious in the code, which may not show up on a scan on the back end. It will check if your site's being spamvertised, which is the same idea. There's links on the front end that aren't showing up anywhere on the, the back end. So they're only shown on the publicly facing site. And the third option for paid members is whether your IP is generating spam. So what hackers often do is they try to hack a site to upload some files so that they can use your server as an email server to send out spam. And if WordFence finds that it's doing that, it will notify you here. And then the scans, all the rest of the scans are included for free. There's a scan for the Heartbleed vulnerability, which is all the rage a while ago, but it's still out there. It's still not completely cured. And then it goes and checks the core theme and plugin file signatures to make sure they're legitimate. So WordFence itself, the company, they download every available free theme and free plugin, and they download every release of WordPress, and they compare all of those to what you have on your site to make sure that the files are the same. So here, after it, it, it uh, downloads a list of known malware files from WordFence, and then after that, and after that, it compares the core WordPress files against the originals in the repository. And then it compares the open source themes against the originals on WordPress.org, which is the repository. Then it compares the plugins against the originals on WordPress.org. So it's going out and comparing whether there are any changes or any discrepancies between the plugins and themes and files on your site and the ones that are published by the developers. And as you can see, this site here has problems found for uh, the step where they compare the plugins to the originals and we'll check that out in a second. And then they scan for known malware files and they scan the contents of your website for infections and other vulnerabilities they check the Google Safe browsing list to make sure that you're not on it. So the Google Safe browsing list is when someone accesses a site, they see a red screen that says this site may be harmful or maybe an attack site or it may try to download malware on your computer. Those are sites that are listed in the Google Safe browsing list. So you don't want to be on there and this checks whether you are or not. And next it scans the database for infections and vulnerabilities. It scans your posts for URLs in the Safe browsing list. It scans your comments for URLs in the safe browsing list, so to make sure you're not linking out to URLs that are on that safe browsing list, which Google classifies as a bad neighborhood. So if you're linking out to them, it actually harms your SEO. 
It scans your site for weak passwords. It's scanning your DNS or domain name service for unauthorized changes. It's scanning to check available disk space on the server to see make sure there's enough space. It's scanning your themes, plugins, and core files, and there's problems found. And then scan complete, there are three issues. And if we scroll down, we see what those issues are. The first one, the plugin pop-up domination needs an upgrade. So that's a pretty simple one. You just go and update it. Whenever these scans are done, WordFence also emails you the results. So if it finds a problem, it will email it to you right away. And then you can go in and, and fix it. So the problem being here that pop-up domination needs an update. Updates should be done as soon as they can be after you notice an update's needed. And WordFence tells you almost immediately that there's an update available. And this one, there's a, a file in the Gravity Forms plugin called common.php. And what WordFence doesn't like is that there is a piece of code called base64 underscore decode, which is a PHP function that's quite often used in malicious code. But in this case, it's a false positive because Gravity Forms uses this file and this code for its functioning. So in this case, that's a false positive. I've confirmed that with Gravity Forms themselves. So what I usually do is I ignore until the file changes. So even though that's in there, if the file changes in the future, then WordFence will pop up and say, hey, this file changed. I'm ignoring the base64, but something else happened. So here's what happened. And then this file down here, I just went in and changed it a little bit just to show you what it looks like. So this file, subscribe to comments reloaded.php, has been changed. And I just I rewrote the PHP a little bit just to show you what WordFence shows you when it finds a, a change in a file. So what you can do is in the tools section down here, you can view the file, you can restore the original version of the file, and you can see how the file has changed. So let's click on see how file has changed. In a new tab, it then shows you exactly which file it is, which is right here. It shows you which line of the code has been changed. And it compares on the left hand the original, on the right hand the modified version. And these two do the same things. Uh, I just, like I said, I just went in there and just rewrote the PHP a little bit so the, the plugin still functions. It's just that it's different. So WordFence picked up that it was different. And so that is how you use WordFence to scan for your files and changes in your files and have WordFence notify you automatically when it discovers a change, which is one of the fastest ways to be notified if there is a potential hacker that got into your site and changed some files. I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Please make sure you like this video if it helped you, share it, subscribe to our YouTube channel, check out our social media feeds, and check out wplearninglab.com where we write about WordPress every single day. Talk to you soon.